Netflix would make those countdowns for adults, too, because I pretty much never make it to midnight. Me either. With our <laughs> shift, you know. I'll be watching it at 8 p.m. That, Good night, everybody. That's right. That's about it. And, you know, it's going to be an interesting night, New Year's Eve, because we're probably going to have a little rain. But today, we're concerned with some snow. And, you know, I just mentioned, Naomi, you can go from fine to hmm. a mess just like that. And we'll explain that for you now. First of all, how about some pretty pictures, huh? Noblesville, Carmel. Nashville, Kokomo, all here with blue sky, and, and you would look at this and you'd think, there's no way we're going to get snow, but we will a little bit later on today, and I think some of you could get just a locally heavy downpour very quickly. Uh, right now, though, it has jumped up to 39 degrees because of a westerly breeze at 17 miles per hour. We'll drop down to about 37 by next hour because the winds now are starting to change to the northwest. And for the evening rush hour, we are expecting some snow squalls to move in here. I hope it's not real bad, but I do have to prepare you for the fact that we will, during the evening rush hour, and I would say especially like 6 o'clock, so in about five hours and 45 minutes, something like that, have these narrow areas of very heavy snow with winds that could gust in excess of 30 miles per hour, which means that stuff kicks up, it's poor visibility, and a quick inch is possible, which really is a lot for Indiana. To get an inch of snow in a short period of time is kind of rare, but we can see that tonight. So we're expecting some slick travel in parts of Indiana. I was mentioning winds. Already in the northern part of the state, the winds are coming out of the west, northwest. That'll happen here, too. The wind speeds are significant because right now, sustained winds in Rensselaer of 26 miles per hour, 17 here. Those winds are just going to get gustier. I was just out just a minute ago to run to my car and thought, whoa, this is pretty windy out here today. And these gusts will, again, be in excess of 30. Sean Ash was talking about this last night. He'll be with you again at 5, filling in for Angela. But he was talking about the fact, and I thought this was a very good point, that the biggest travel in impact is snow-covered roads because they'll be kind of icy due to the wind and the, and the fact that they're blowing in horizontally and can make for some very slick travel. We're not concerned with that right now. We're at 39, uh, 36 degrees in Lafayette. But let me show you now what's going to happen in the next few hours. Even by 2.30, we're fine. So for the evening rush hour, uh, we start out dry, but very quickly, 5, 6 o'clock, here comes the snow. So by 6 o'clock, we've probably got 20 to 22 counties that are seeing some kind of a snow squall. This is 6.30 as we go into nightly news, and we'll have more widespread snow. And this is not over yet. So it's going to take at least until 8 o'clock, and even at then, we'll still have some snow around the metro area for this to get out of here. And I think even after 11, although the map's not showing much except for Peru, we could still have another burst of snow, I would say maybe till 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. So for the rest of the day, temperatures will fall into the 30s, and then eventually 26 degrees for a low with those snow squalls. 32 tomorrow. As the flurries end, we'll see sunshine in the morning. I think most of Saturday is okay, but we'll have some snow that will come up in the afternoon and evening mixed with rain and then all rain, 43. First day of the new year is wet at 38. And how about this, Naomi, by Sunday up to 60. And we'll talk more about the big weekend in a few minutes. 60 degrees. That's right. <laughs> all right, Chuck, thank you. Well,